Hi, and welcome to Tony's Cool Tools. If it's your first time, thanks for stopping. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a tool or an accessory, depending on what you wanna call it, that I've used for about eight years now, and it is invaluable. So stick around, let me show you. Just a quick announcement. The Logging Congress, or better known as the Great Lakes Heavy Equipment Expo, is September 7th through the 9th. If you happen to be attending, and you see Chris from In The Woodyard or I, stop by and say hello. We'd love to see our subscribers. So the tool we're gonna to cover today is called Rope Ratchet. As I mentioned, I've been using it for about eight years now. I found it at a trade show and knew I had to have it because of the amount of moving and trailering that I do. And I have to cinch a lot of stuff down. And I've lost a lot of stuff on the highway because I didn't cinch it down well enough. With this, there's a little lever in the back here. You pull, push that up. Pull as much rope as you need to affix it to one side and then just ratchet it right up until it's tight. Nothing else needed. Now rope ratchet has been around since 1992. I'm surprised I hadn't found this tool earlier. I had the opportunity to speak with Alex from Rope Ratchet and he gave me a little back history of the company. Alex told me that his father did not invent this tool but he had a friend who invented this tool and he was so impressed with the company and the product that he purchased the patent on it and has made many enhancements to the rope ratchet. And not only was the product successful in the US, it's also in 30 different countries. And if you watch any of the videos from the UK on the rope ratchet, they use it for rescue and recovery. Now just to mention, some of the sizes of rope ratchet are made in the US, but not all. And the moniker out there is tie it, tow it, load it. So the rope ratchet is one tool I recommend you put on your wish list or your Christmas list so you could have it in your garage, your pole barn, and your vehicle. Now the rope ratchet comes in four different sizes, eighth inch, quarter, three eighths, and half inch. And it comes in a couple of variations on the rope size, eight foot and 15 foot. And my recommendation is go ahead and get the 15 foot. You can always cut the rope down, but you can't add to it. And there's another option I'm gonna show you a little later. And you can also get them in packs of one, two, or four, depending on the size. And not only are they available in the standard zinc plated hooks, but you could also go with a carabiner style. There's a unique hanging system here, which I'll talk about a little later. And lastly, they sell a kit called Hang 'em High. No, this isn't a Clint Eastwood movie, but it is a beneficial tool for you campers and hunters out there. And I'll show you how it works. I'm sure many of you are familiar with this bird's nest here. A number of us just take them, put them all together, and then just toss them into a box until we're ready to use them next time. It's one of my pet peeves. I like to have everything ready for deployment when I'm going out. So I wrap it up like this. Let me show you how I take care of my rope ratchets. Very similarly. I take them, bring them all the way up, take the two parts, join them together, and then just start twisting them around like this. Once I get to the end, I just put it through one of the loops here. And now I'm ready for deployment, super easy. I call these my little grenades. So let me take you through one of the rope ratchets. This is the half inch. Now it's rated for a maximum load capacity of 500 pounds. We'll be working with the 3 8 rope ratchet. It's one of my favorites and it's the one I use probably most of the time. Now as I mentioned before, it is an all metal gear system inside. All you do is you take your rope and you make sure that the ends are singed. You don't want to have any frayed ends here. And then you just put it in the back, roll it forward with your thumb here in the back. It'll come out right here. When you get it, pull that, you're ready to go. And that's all that's necessary on the rope ratchet end. On the opposite side, 
all you do is you take your zinc plated hook, put it through, put a couple of knots in there, your favorite knot, and you're ready to go. Over the years I've tried multiple different hold downs. Rubber bungees were the most common, but they're not very strong and the rubber degrades with the UV from the sun. Same thing holds true for the synthetic type ropes that there are with the different ends on them. The plastics crack real easily. The Thule hold down for my kayak and canoe works really well. All you do is there's a little lever back here, you pull it and as soon as you stop, it'll hold fast but it's not rated for super heavy duty applications. And like many of you, I also buy the Harbor Freight ratchet straps and they're good for some time, but eventually they break easily. So I keep going back to the rope ratchet here. Super easy, very quick to operate. And as I mentioned before, the rope lengths on the rope ratchet come in either eight foot or 15 foot. But as we all know, regardless of what size the manufacturer offers, it's always too small. Well, here's something way cool that Rope Ratchet does, and that is they have a make your own rope ratchet. It comes with the ratchet, the zinc hook, and you can purchase 50 feet of the braided poly rope here, whether it's the quarter inch or the half inch. And let me take you, you only need a few things. One, you need a hard surface, roll of electrician's tape, a sharp razor knife, and either a propane torch, a Bic lighter, or a safety match. And that's to singe the ends when you're through. So I needed some custom length of rope, and they're 10 feet. So all I do is take the new roll that I have, pull out the 10 feet, measure it up, and then cut it. I brought you in a little closer so you can see what I'm doing here. I put a piece of tape on where the 10 foot mark is. I'm going to use my utility knife and cut right into the center of this. Now I've got two nice ends right there. All I do is grab my lighter. Singe the ends here a little bit. I'll take the tape off in a second. Singe it a little bit more. No fraying. I'll do the same thing on the other side. That'll be ready for the next time I make a custom uh, rope ratchet. On the half inch zinc hook, there's enough room in here to put in an anchor knot, which is my favorite knot for putting on these uh, zinc hooks. But on the quarter inch, there is not enough room to double it. So I just put a standard knot on there and that works good as well. So let me show you some of my favorite applications for the rope ratchet. When I'm going on vacation or I'm using my hitch haul here, like the cooler, all I do is strap it on both ends with the zinc hooks, give a nice pull, that's not going anywhere. When I get to my location, I can e easily just remove it by hitting the little lever. That's it. How simple can that get? Now Rope Ratchet makes my life easy when I have to load my kayaks or canoes on my minivan or other vehicles. All I do is put the two zinc hooks on, give it a pull, and it holds my kayak and canoe safely. And I can easily unhook it when I'm at my destination. So with these two dollies, I've been able to move refrigerators, freezers, washers, dryers, gun safes, and all primarily by myself. I just use one to two ratchet straps to strap the item onto the dolly and away I go. Let me show you. I use these 55 gallon drums to store my deer corn in. So that's 250 pounds plus the barrel here. Or if I was moving liquid in this 55, you're looking at 440 pounds. All I do is hook the one end on the, on the dolly, the second end as well. I just loosen it up. Tighten it up, and I can easily move this. Or I use my ratchet rope to secure my trash bucket on the pallet forks here. Just attach it on each, either side, pull it. Now it's not gonna flip over when I hit a bump. So for you sportsmen out there, you're probably familiar with the tripod. We use it for deer or hogs or hanging our feeders. And this one comes with a hand winch. 
Now I've used it with a hand winch, but I also have used it with a ratchet rope. All I do is put a standard ratchet rope, hook it on the top, and with two people, we just pull it straight up. But I mentioned a product before called Hang 'em High. And this one here is extremely easy. So if you're in a remote deer camp or your backyard and you have a limb somewhere, you can just toss this on and lift your deer up or anything else that you want. And I'll be showing that to you in a moment. Let me give you some specs on the Hang 'em High system. First, it's rated for 250 pounds. It does come with 20 feet of 3 8 rope and there's also an eighth inch rope and I'll show you what that does in a moment. And it also comes with a pulley which gives you a two to one ratio when you start pulling. So let me show you how this works. So the release lever right over here has a hole in it and you get this eighth inch piece of rope with it and what its purpose is when you pull it down it lets the ratchet rope go down. And what we're going to do is bring it down here to the tire, hook it up, and now all I do is pull on the rope, and as you can tell, it stops it from coming back down. The pulley system up there, as I said, is a two to one. That's how easy it is, and that's what you do with your deer and hogs as well. And to release it, all I do is take the rope here and pull it down. And there it goes. So here's where the rope ratchet is extremely beneficial, and that is when I have to move my Easton made axis, I have to tilt this table upward here. And there's a pin right over here. And I have to remove that. So this table has to be supported. If I'm doing this all by myself here, it's extremely difficult because this table probably weighs 80 to 100 pounds. And the way I do it is I hook it up right at the top there with the ratchet part. Put this hook in through here. Pull on this, pull the pin, and just flip the table over. When I'm through, I just take the mechanism, release it, and then I move over to this side here. Once this table is flipped all the way over, I take this and hook it right in here and secure it in the upward position so it doesn't flop down. And when I'm ready to reposition the pin, I do the same thing in reverse and just play around with it until I can put the pin in. So here's another application for the hang em high. In the event that your ATV is not working and you have to get it up a ramp and you're by yourself, I'm using two ratchet straps here and all I do is start bringing it up. It won't go down now because the ratchet stops it. So I just keep pulling it up. And now if I have to reposition it, I have my wheel chock here. I'll go in the back, put it in the back of the wheel, and reposition this, and move it all the way forward. Now, without a doubt, one of the most beneficial things that the rope ratchet does is tie an ATV or your dirt bike to your pickup or your trailer. Attach it to the frame or somewhere secure. Pull. That's not going anywhere. You attach it in two to three spots, and you're ready to travel. And when you get to your location, all you do to unfasten it, hit the lever and you're done. So the last product from Rope Ratchet I wanted to mention was this one with the carabiner. And it's quite unique. For those of you that live in California or Colorado and you raise that medicinal herb and you have to use a greenhouse in your basement and hang uh, light fixtures, the grow lights, this is the perfect tool for it because you get two of them and you can just pull them down equally when you want them or lower them as necessary. Real handy for you herb growers. I hope you found this video on the rope ratchet interesting and informative. It does have a lot of uses on all properties, whether it's the farm, wood yard, or your house. And I will have contact information on the rope ratchet in the info section below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up as well. 
And remember, pass it forward. Make the world a better place. And don't be a tool. Watch Tony's Cool Tools. Until I see you next time, have a great day.